It's another beautiful morning here in the Cordoba province of Argentina. We're at David Denny's Monteraz Lodge with Ian Cody Sporting and Frontiers Travel and we're hunting pigeons. So it may seem a little strange to come all the way to Argentina to shoot pigeons, but I have to say, it's a huge amount of fun. There's quite a lot of activity so far this morning. The decoys are out in front of us. There's a, a flapper on the left, a tree, an impromptu tree put in the middle of the field in front of us. And so far, it does seem to be bringing the birds in. But the sport here is exhilarating. Now this isn't the same kind of high pressure volume shooting that you get with shooting doves, for example. Here, you've got to be very selective and you have to pick your birds. And they don't make it easy for you. There's a bag limit of 75 birds or 175 shots. Of course, the decoys concentrate where they fly into and often as the birds set their wings and drift down, they appear to be going pretty slowly. But in reality, they've still got a fair amount of speed. And sometimes, you've just got to anticipate where they're going rather than shooting where they've been. Although the shots are very similar, they're also extremely different. Changes of angle, changes of elevation, turning quickly into the wind, curling and looping, and of course, reacting to you addressing the target with the gun. These birds have got incredibly good eyesight. They can see movement and they can sense danger. I'm normally a 12 bore shooter and a 12 bore side by side or over and under. I'm not really used to shooting a semi-auto, but I can tell you it's a huge amount of fun. The guns they shoot here are 20 bore. That's more than enough for the birds and the distances that we're shooting at, which means that we've got one, two, three, four, five shots if you need them. Although it's handy having those additional shots, sometimes the problem with shooting a five shot semi-auto is you can get a little bit lazy in your shooting. When you take the first shot and you're a little bit behind, rather than readdressing the target moving through and then taking your next shot, you find yourself almost emptying the magazine. However, the key to it is forgetting that you have five shots and then just focusing on each bird individually. I'll take that one and then readdress, move your feet and get ready for the next bird. And as the day went on, I didn't have it all my own way. Just when I thought I was starting to get the measure of them, then it all fell apart. One, two, three shots, no birds down, and not even a feather in the sky. That can be slightly frustrating. You take a step back, you take a deep breath, you reevaluate your position, and then you move forward again. And that is the great thing about shooting here. There is no pressure, you don't have to take a particular bird, you don't have to shoot all your cartridges. It's an incredibly enjoyable and relaxed way of shooting and I can't wait to come back again.